government has resumed modernization of the armed forces. President Marcos wants the military to catch up and get back on track in two years, despite security challenges. With the setback created by the COVID-19 epidemic, President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. wants the Filipino armed forces to modernize faster and catch up with the rest of the world. Kung Anoi Timetable Nadin, Medio Nature's Lang Non County in Pandemic. But now we're back on track, the president told reporters during the graduation ceremony for the Philippine Army Officer Candidate Course Gate Mat Class 58 to 2023 in Tagwig City. Hopefully, we'll catch up and, in a year or two, we'll be back to where we were intended to be before the pandemic, he said. The AFP modernization program entails the procurement of new warships, aircraft, and equipment to enable the force to face external challenges such as the West Philippine Sea territorial conflict. Based on a complaint brought by the Philippines, the United Nations Permanent Court of Arbitration in The Hague invalidated China's nine-line claim spanning the entire South China Sea, including the West Philippine Sea, in 2016. It was a significant legal victory for the Philippines, but China has refused to recognize the verdict. President Marcos said he met with AFP commanders to discuss the necessity for the military to confront the country's current difficulties. The president stated that the talks would benefit the government in its procurement plans for the AFP, adding that educating members of the security services is one of the most important things. The AFP altered its military purchasing strategy in conjunction with its continuing modernization program, Horizon 3, which began this year. It would be the final stage of the modernization drive, which would entail the procurement of external defensive systems. No less than U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin III reaffirmed the U.S.'s commitment for the Philippines under the Mutual Defense Treaty on Thursday. Austin expressed grave worry over China's coercive and dangerous behavior after Chinese vessels reportedly harassed Philippine ships in the Ianjin Shoal on June 30, 2023, according to the Pentagon. According to a readout supplied by Pentagon Press Secretary Brig General Pat Ryder, Austin expressed his concern to Defense Secretary Gilberto Teodoro during a phone discussion on Thursday. The Philippine Coast Guard said on Wednesday that two Chinese Coast Guard vessels engaged in dangerous maneuvers that may have resulted in a collision with PCG ships helping the armed forces of the Philippines resupply mission near Ayunjin Shoal. The Chinese Foreign Ministry stated that their boat's operations on June 30 were professional and disciplined. According to the readout, Austin highlighted the United States Ironclad Alliance commitment with the Philippines and reiterated that the Mutual Defense Treaty extends to Philippine public vessels, aircraft, and armed forces, including those of its Coast Guard, in the Pacific, including anywhere in the South China Sea. According to the statement, Austin and Teodoro reaffirmed their commitment to sustaining the rules-based order and supporting the livelihoods of local Philippine communities in the South China Sea in accordance with the Arbitral Tribunal ruling in 2016.